circle. Practice set 3.4 Question number 1 In the adjoining figure, in a circle with center O, length of chord AB is equal to the radius of the circle. Find measure of each of the following. Angle AOB, angle ACB, arc AB, arc ACB. Solution Here, segment OA and segment OB are the radii of the same circle. Therefore, segment OA is equal to segment OB is equal to the radius. Also, segment AB is equal to the radius. Therefore, segment OA is equal to segment OB is equal to segment AB from equation 1 and 2. Therefore, triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle. We know that angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degree. Therefore, measure of angle AOB is equal to 60 degree. Second, Measure of an arc is the measure of the central angle. Therefore, measure of arc AB is equal to 60 degree. By inscribed angle theorem, measure of angle ACB is equal to half of measure of arc AB, which is equal to half into 60 degree. Therefore, measure of angle ACB is equal to 30 degree. Third, measure of arc AB is equal to measure of angle AOB by definition of measure of minor arcs. Therefore, measure of arc AB is equal to 60 degree. Fourth, measure of a circle is 360 degree. Therefore, measure of arc ACB plus measure of arc AB is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, measure of arc ACB is equal to 360 degree minus measure of arc AB which is equal to 360 degree minus 60 degree. Therefore, measure of arc ACB is equal to 300 degree. Question number 2. In the adjoining figure quadrilateral, PQRS is cyclic. Side PQ is congruent to side RQ. Angle PSR is equal to 110 degree. Find measure of angle PQR, measure of arc PQR, measure of arc RQ, measure of angle PRQ. Solution given quadrilateral. PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Therefore, angle PSR plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 110 plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle PQR is equal to 180 minus 110 degree. Therefore, measure of angle PQR is equal to 70 degree. Second, using inscribed angle theorem, angle PSR is equal to half of measure of arc PQR. Therefore, 110 is equal to half of measure of arc PQR. Therefore, measure of arc PQR is equal to 220 degree. Third, in triangle PQR, side PQ is congruent to side RQ. Therefore, angle PRQ is equal to angle QPR, isosceles triangle theorem. So, base angles are equal. Let the base angles angle PRQ is equal to angle QPR is equal to X. Now, sum of measure of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, angle PQR plus angle QPR plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle PQR plus X plus X is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 70 degree plus 2X is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 2x is equal to 180 minus 70 degree. Therefore, 2x is equal to 110 degree. Therefore, x is equal to 55 degree. Therefore, angle PRQ is equal to angle QPR is equal to 55 degree. Equation 1. But, angle QPR is equal to half of measure of arc QR inscribed angle theorem. Therefore, 55 is equal to half of measure of arc QR. Therefore, Measure of arc QR is equal to 110 degree. Fourth, angle PRQ is equal to angle QPR is equal to 55 degree from equation 1. Therefore, measure of angle PRQ is equal to 55 degree. Question number 3. Quadrilateral. MRPN is cyclic. Angle R is equal to 5X minus 13 the whole degree. Angle N is equal to 4X plus 4 the whole degree. 
find measure of angle R and angle N. Solution given quadrilateral. MRPN is a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Therefore, angle R plus angle N is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 5x minus 13 plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 9x minus 9 is equal to 180. Therefore, 9x is equal to 189. Therefore, x is equal to 189 divided by 9. Therefore, x is equal to 21. Substituting the value of x, therefore, angle R is equal to 5x minus 13, which is equal to 5 into 21 minus 13, which gives us 105 minus 13. Therefore, angle R is equal to 92 degree. Angle N is equal to 4x plus 4, which is equal to 4 into 21 plus 4, is equal to 84 plus 4, which is equal to 88. Therefore, measure of angle R is equal to 92 degree and measure of angle N is equal to 88 degree. Question number 7. In the adjoining figure, measure of arc NS is equal to 125 degree. Measure of arc EF is equal to 37 degree. Find the measure of angle NMS. Solution. In this figure, chords EN and FS intersect outside the circle at point M. Therefore, measure of angle NMS is equal to half of measure of arc NS minus measure of arc EF, which is equal to half into 125 minus 37, which is equal to half into 88. Therefore, measure of angle NMS is equal to 44 degree. Question number 8. In the adjoining figure, chords AC and DE intersect at P. If angle ABE is equal to 108 degree, measure of arc AE is equal to 95 degree, find measure of arc DC. Solution. Here, chords AC and DE intersect inside the circle at point B. Therefore, angle ABE is equal to half of measure of arc AE plus measure of arc DC. Therefore, 108 is equal to half of 95 plus measure of arc DC. Therefore, 108 into 2 is equal to 95 plus measure of arc DC. Therefore, 95 degree plus measure of arc DC is equal to 216 degree. Therefore, measure of arc DC is equal to 216 minus 95 degree. Therefore, measure of arc DC is equal to 121 degree. Thank you for watching the Academic Squad.